Hi, my name is Patrick Luck. I am one of the Java tutors here at Chegg Tutoring. And today I want to talk to you about the Chief Programmer model. The Chief Programmer model is a um, work team model that was developed by IBM and it basically involves the uh, structure and relationship between senior developers and junior mid-level developers and really just helps move a software project along. Basically you can see that we start here in the uh, top left of the screen here requirements get handed down. Now requirements come from a lot of places. Requirements might come from your client, it may come from a boss, um, it could be an internal customer, say accounting department at your company, it could be an external comp customer, let's say you're a company that you know does contracts for websites or you know Android applications, what have you. you know, somewhere your requirements are going to come down. And it's really just best to let the most senior and most experienced people go through those requirements and uh, figure out what is expected between the development team and the clients. Because one of the big challenges is many times uh, the developers really know very little about what they're asked to be made. So for example, um, you know, if a developer is being asked to make a scientific analyst program for scientists, for example, the scientists may know their research very well. Let's say they're biology scientists and, you know, they specialize in doing that type of biology research. Or, but what, you know, what do programmers know about biology research? Or research? I mean, you know, so it's up to the client to give good requirements to the programmer, but it's really also up to the programmer to ask good questions about those requirements because we can't have misunderstandings in the project because that causes the project to be late, it causes the project to be over budget, it usually creates a breakdown in um, the relationship between the uh, client and the developers. So it's very important to get the requirements down right. And so we give those off to the chief programmer here and his job is to look, create some tasks that basically signal signal the work breakdown structure for a program and out of that here he's going to go or she is going to create assignments. There's a lot of project management tools on the market but uh, usually most programmers will see some form of a work order or ticket that these assignments come in and usually these assignments uh, describe the task, is describe the uh, requirements of the task and what's expected to be done. Um, and that's what you see here is you know, individual subtasks inside of an assignment. So, you know, your assignment might say create a web page that stores information in a backing bean and saves it to the database for a client to reuse later. This is going to usually get handed off to junior and mid-level developers. It is also possible, depend, depending on the size of the team, you could have senior developers as well. Um, but that does depend on the uh, size of the team. Junior developers are obviously the least experienced developers. Usually these are recent graduates from college or people who just entered the um, programming workforce. Mid-level developers, generally people with about three to five years experience. It depends on the company. Some companies consider want more experience before they consider a mid-level developer, but it really depends. And what the junior and mid-level developers do. They're kind of the workhorses here in this uh, this sort of team model here. It's their job to write the day-to-day -day code. You, you may have the chief programmer also writing day-to-day -day code. It depends on the size of the team again. But larger teams, the chief programmer may not uh, have anything to do with the code other than, let's say, reviewing it to make sure it's good code that gets checked into the project. Um, bigger the team, the more there is a chief programmer to do, obviously. So some chief programmers still program, some of them do not. We're going to usually get some sort of results from the junior mid-level developers. And a good, um, a good team will usually review the code and have the code looked at by other developers. This is kind of the equivalent of having someone proofread your paper before you turn it in. Uh, what one developer considers to be good code may not be considered good code by another developer. So code reviews are very, very important. Um, results can also include things such as, um, do we check to see if the assignment was done correctly? You know, if you were asked to um, 
make a web page that tracked first, middle, and last name, but you left out middle name, you probably want that caught before the client sees it. So we're gonna we're gonna check that there. And then usually coming out of the results could very possibly be new assignments again, which again get turned into tasks by the chief programmer. And you know, this is a chief programmer up here. Chief programmers, some of the qualifications, uh, they are almost always going to be the most experienced programmer on the team. You do not want to put somebody who's inexperienced in charge of a team. I mean, it's just kind of common sense. So we usually try to pick out our best and our brightest programs and our most experienced programmers to be chief programmers. They should lead the team. So more or less, they're, the, they're going to be the project lead is another name for chief programmer, but they're going to be the one that's answerable for the development team, usually between uh, some sort of management or directly to the client. Uh, usually the um, chief programmer will be in involved in the design of the code to make sure that the code is designed well prior to actual coding. Um, that's very important and this is part of the reason also that we have our most experienced programmers be the chief programmers. Um, usually we want to have our chief programmers provide mentorship to junior and mid-level developers. It's especially important for the junior developers I think. It was very substantial in my career. I had a very good chief programmer who was extremely helpful, helpful when I was a junior developer so I, I think it's very important that uh, chief programmers be willing to provide mentorship, men, uh, mentorship to the junior developers. But mid-level developers still, while they can work up far more independently than a junior developer, the, even mid-level developers benefit from, um, from the mentorship of chief programmers and senior developers. You may have non-programmers on the team too that answer to the chief programmer. For example, your software testers may answer to the chief programmer also. You might have people involved in the clerical duties um, that could be doing press releases or announcements. Um, documentors who write code documentation, that is very important uh, to document code well. Um, Mid-level developers are a category of developers you're usually going to have on the team. Um, usually the chief programmer is going to give the more difficult tasks to the mid-level developers than junior developers. And depending on the task, uh, a chief programmer may even just allow a mid-level developer to take an area of the project and go with it. You know, it may not even need necessarily um, the involvement of a chief programmer. But that, of course, depends on the nature of the tasks. Junior developers should almost always stick to basic tasks and they definitely should be mentored by the chief programmer, other senior developers, or at least an experienced mid-level developer. So that's kind of the model here more or less is uh, the chief programmer model. Again, it was developed by ID IBM. It's a very widely used um, team structure in the workforce. and. Um, it centers around a project lead or a chief programmer who is the most experienced and uh, provides the guidance and the mentorship to the rest of the team so that software projects can be a success. From Check Tutors, my name is Patrick Luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great evening, folks.